Agaya and Ubuntu. Welcome to this Nova Sutra's Cross Quarter Celebration. I'm Dr. Michelle Merrill. You'll want to arrange yourself for a meditation session. While we're settling in, I'll tell you a little bit more about the Cross Quarter. I'll explain a little about the Nova Sutra's movement and the terms Agaya and Ubuntu. And then in a few minutes, we'll start our guided meditation. I'll help you get into a calm, relaxed, and meditative state. Then I'll let you know the time of the cross quarter, and for a few minutes, we'll all really focus on reverence and loving kindness, Agaya and Ubuntu, for the world. After we finish our meditation, I'll talk a bit more about the Nova Sutras movement, our goals, our values, and how you can participate. Today, August 7th, at 1327 UTC, is the specific moment when we are at the midpoint between the June solstice and the September equinox, as the Earth orbits the Sun. The Sun will be directly overhead in the eastern Atlantic Ocean, between the Cape Verde Islands and the west coast of Africa. In the northern hemisphere, it is the middle of summer. The June solstice marks the beginning of summer, and the September equinox is the start of fall. At this cross-quarter point, the days are growing shorter, yet the heat of the summer is bringing so many plants to their peak ripeness. The seasons are related to the orbit of the Earth around our sun and how the northern and southern hemispheres are sometimes tilted toward the sun and sometimes tilted away from the sun. Nova Sutras celebrates solstices, equinoxes, and the cross quarters because these are amazing planetary phenomena about the interaction of our home planet and our sun. These are science-based. All humans can agree on these. Many religious traditions include some celebration associated with these eight times of the year. The Nova Sutras movement seeks to promote Agaya and Ubuntu. We use this new term, Agaya, as an expression of the deep, sacred beauty of the universe. We've borrowed the word Ubuntu. We expand this South African term to represent the connections between all things, binding us all together in the more-than-human world with reverence, joy, generosity, gratitude, and loving-kindness. In Nova Sutras, we honor the principles that all of nature is sacred and should be treated with reverence and loving-kindness. That change is essential, inevitable, and important in all life. That complexity and maturity emerge from cooperative relationships, and that the beauty of the living world is to be savored, honored, celebrated, and protected. During this meditation practice, I will let you know as we approach the minute of the cross quarter and invite you to focus very specifically with Agaya and Ubuntu at that point in time, and I will talk you through that. First, to open this as a sacred space, we will do a practice that Buddhists might recognize as a form of metta, and practitioners of various neo-pagan or indigenous religions might recognize as calling the corners or calling the quarters. You can do this while standing and moving, or just sitting and thinking, whichever is more comfortable for you right now. I like to start with where the sun is now, the nearest cardinal direction. Choose which direction the sun is in for you. It's morning in North America, so for me here the sun will be in the east. I'll go around the compass directions following the path of the sun, east to south to west, then north, then also up and down. Then we'll start with ourselves as the center and radiate out. Please follow along out loud if you like, or just think and feel through it, sending your wishes out in that direction or that space.
May all beings to the east abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the south abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the west abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the north abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings above me abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings beneath me abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all the great tree beings that connect above and below abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May I abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings nearby, all those I can reach with my senses, abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings in my watershed abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings in my surrounding bioregion abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings on my continent abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings in my hemisphere abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all the beings in Earth's beautiful biosphere abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all life anywhere in this universe abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. Now you are invited to find a comfortable place to sit. Place your hands gently on your knees so your arms hang comfortably at your sides with your elbows at a relaxed angle. Hold your spine upright. Once you're seated comfortably, take a deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. Now exhale slowly and completely. Inhale slowly through your nose, noticing the air moving past your nostrils, down and into your lungs. Hold again. Now slowly release the breath. Feel how your chest and belly move and relax as you exhale. Now allow your chest and belly to expand and rise gently as you inhale. Continue to take slow, comfortable breaths at your own pace. As you continue taking deep, relaxing breaths, we will begin to welcome in Ubuntu and Agaya. Ubuntu expands our awareness of connection or interbeing. With every breath in, you take in nourishing oxygen that some plants exhaled. Then you exhale carbon dioxide that will nourish other photosynthesizers. All your food was once alive, and that life nourishes you. This is interbeing at its deepest level. This is what we call Ubuntu. Everywhere in the world, these interconnections exist. As you breathe in, allow yourself to feel these connections of Ubuntu. As you breathe out, 
Send your gratitude for them along those radiating interconnections. This gratitude to other beings with whom we share connection is one facet of what we call a Gaia. A Gaia is our profound connection to the sacred beauty of our universe. As you slowly inhale, invite this sacred joy of a Gaia into the center of your being. Hold it for a moment. Then, as you release your breath, send with it your feelings of humble gratitude to spread out into the world. Inhale, wonder and joy. Exhale, gratefulness for interconnection. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. In less than a minute, we will reach the cross quarter. From an earthly perspective, the sun will be directly overhead in the Atlantic Ocean between the west coast of Africa and the Cape Verde Islands. Envision how that looks and feels right now with a brilliant midday sun directly over the vast blue sea. If you were standing on a becalmed sailboat there, you and the mast would cast no shadow except directly beneath you. Imagine taking all that warmth and shimmering radiance from the sun overhead and transforming it into loving kindness, into Ubuntu and a Gaia. Now, imagine Ubuntu and a Gaia shining forth through you from your heart out into the world. Know that you are surrounded by community, that everyone meditating right now is there with you, that we are all radiating Ubuntu and Agaya. Together, we shine Ubuntu and Agaya across the deep and sparkling immensity of the ocean. Together, we shine Ubuntu and Agaya to every place on earth, now touched by the light of this cross-quarter sun. Together, we shine Agaya and Ubuntu out to touch all those in the dark of night right now, all around the world. Together, we shine the light of Ubuntu and Agaya across the universe from our beautiful little home world. Together, we inhale Ubuntu and exhale Agaya. Together, we inhale Agaya and exhale Ubuntu. Extend these experiences of Agaya and Ubuntu and offer them as a gift to the whole world.
deep sense of wonder we feel when we participate in the living world. When we catch the scent of a beautiful flower, when we watch a butterfly dance in the air above us, when we hear the crash of waves from the sea, when we gaze up into a clear night sky filled with distant stars, This experience of Agaya can inspire feelings of humbleness, but also feelings of expansive pride and great joy. Take a moment to appreciate that joy. Really breathe in Agaya. And exhale gratitude for all that is wonderful in the universe. Ubuntu. Hold that feeling of inner connection. Then exhale Agaya to spread joy and wonder into the universe. Inhale Ubuntu. And exhale Agaya. When you are ready, you may open your eyes and allow yourself to gently return to the here and now. You should come into a state of calm attention, energized by your contemplation of Ubuntu and Agaya through the moment of the cross quarter. Take this time to thank yourself and to thank all our participants for sharing in this worldwide meditation. We in the Nova Sutras community thank you for taking this step towards global wellness and awareness. We thank you for all that you do as an agent for change, Ubuntu and Agaya. Now I'd like an opportunity to talk to you for a bit about the Nova Sutras movement. Our main intention is to invite the power of community to transform global civilizations into expressions of Nova Sutras core values so that we begin to live in a world of Ubuntu and Agaya. A world where we honor the principles that all of nature is sacred and should be treated with reverence and loving-kindness. Our goals for this next orbit of the sun include organizing local celebrations for equinoxes and solstices. Now is the time to begin planning for the September equinox, which will be at 0154 UTC, the morning of Sunday, September 23rd. You can get in contact at novasutras.org or on the Nova Sutras Facebook page or Twitter if you want to host a local celebration, and we'll help you promote that. One of our goals is to develop a working wiki of Nova Sutras philosophy, research, and practices. As we grow Nova Sutras communities in at least 30 countries and inspire worldwide conversations, about community based on Agaya and Ubuntu. It's our hope to hold a major global celebration for the June 2019 solstice. As we continue to build momentum, the Nova Sutras movement hopes to bring people together to defend and protect the environment, Agaya and Ubuntu to respond to disasters and rebuild after disasters, to support education and social justice causes, 
to preserve indigenous knowledge and culture all around the world and to help spread joy and celebration. If you are moved to participate, the Nova Sutras movement certainly needs your help to make this happen. We need people to share information about the movement so we can help it grow. We need creators to write blog posts, make videos, make and donate original music or images that we can use in our materials. We need people with technical skills to help us get a wiki set up, to help build the Nova Sutras calendar and social media, perhaps even to help us design a new language that better expresses Agaya and Ubuntu. We need collaborators to work together to edit videos and blog posts to get started on all of the Nova Sutras projects. We need people who want to join in celebration to help plan and stage those events. We can make masks, costumes, banners, flyers, whatever else will enhance the celebration. And of course, we need people who can offer things. Perhaps it's just an offering of space where you can host celebrations, meetings, or other small gatherings. Perhaps you have items that we can use to help us promote Nova Sutras, video cameras and microphones, materials for celebrations. Maybe you can support Nova Sutras by buying things like our posters, t-shirts, reusable cups and bags. Or perhaps you can even directly contribute funds to help support the costs of our efforts and help us build the movement. Tell us about the projects you'd like to participate in as we move ahead. You can share this in the comments below. This way we can support each other and hold one another accountable for working toward our intentions of a world that abides in Agaya and Ubuntu. Thank you for joining in this Nova Sutras cross-quarter event. And thank you again for all that you do as an agent for change, Ubuntu, and Agaya throughout the world.